Hey guys, it's Bree, and I'm back for my third vlog this week. And for this week, I decided I was going to discuss how we all tend to put too much information on PowerPoint slides while giving a presentation or a speech. So I thought this was important to discuss because it's something I do myself, and I'm pretty sure that all of us can say at one point or another when we have to present or we're preparing for a presentation, and they say, oh, you're going to be using PowerPoint that we all tend to decide, hey, I'm going to write down every little detail and everything I want to say and get down so that if I forget or maybe I think, oh, my audience might benefit from me writing down everything that, oh, I'm going to just put it on there and they can read it if they want to and maybe they can follow it better. Actually, the thing is, is that we don't need to do this because we're going to distract our audience more and I thought it was important to learn that Actually, like the less on the PowerPoint, the better, because your sole purpose as a presenter or a speaker is that you want to facilitate the information to your audience. So you really want to get that across to them, not the PowerPoint slide, because if they're just going to read off the slide, one, it's going to be very boring, and two, you're actually going to, what's the point of you being there to present if they can do that themselves? Also, I wanted to say that don't be afraid to break down bullet points that you think are really important. So this might result in you having more slides, but at the end of the day, it's actually better and more beneficial because it has one central idea per slide. And that's the main point of PowerPoint, is breaking things down to what is most important into that one central idea per slide. It's going to have your audience be able to follow you better. It's also going to... An allow for your audience to not jump ahead or get too lost into what you're trying to say and it's also going to narrow down back to what you want to say and really help you to narrow in on what is my purpose what is my goal here so what you could first start doing is maybe start with the huge PowerPoint and maybe have everything written down and from that really narrow down and see okay what is my main idea for this one slide and what am I going to discuss so I'm not going to overwhelm my audience so that's a really important task also what you can start doing is to remember to use your photos as an advantage we've all heard of the phrase that a picture is worth a thousand words and it's a very crucial part that we need to remember, actually, while having PowerPoint. And you might ask yourself, so why is it? Why is that important? Why should we remember that phrase? But actually, you can use those photos as an advantage to have less words on the slide, or maybe no words at all. And then you can draw from it, because if it's a good picture, you can use this and as a tool. And what you can do is you can go, okay, I maybe have a flow chart on the PowerPoint slide and you're going to show the analysis of something and really go dive deeper into it and describe it. You don't need the all the extra words on the PowerPoint. So I hope after watching this video you learned a little bit more and that you remember to not put too much information on a slide and to keep it simple and cohesive. Thank you.